Hey guys, it's Mrs. Kleinley with this week's First Chapter Friday. I have a good one for you this week. We are going to be looking at Space Case by Stuart Gibbs. So let's talk a little bit about our book. Um, our This is a pretty interesting story. So it's set in the future. It's set in 2041. Um, and our main character is uh, Dashiell Gibson. He is a 12-year-old boy who is living on the moon. So what happened is the U.S. government sent several scientists and their families to go up and like have this, they're living on this base on the moon um, to do all kinds of experiments to see if the moon can sustain life. Um, the kids go to school there. They conduct their everyday life and their normal business all on the moon, which is pretty, I think, interesting. Um, different people come up periodically on a rocket to bring supplies or um, sometimes scientists will go up to do something very specific and go back down. But for most, the most part, the characters in our book are all living there um, on this moon base. Uh, what's kind of neat is at the very beginning of the book, they show you there's like the map, kind of like the floor plan of what the moon base looks like. They explain all the different parts and all of the different people who were very strategically picked to be part of this, um, I don't want to say experiment, but part of this group that's going to be living on the moon. So let's jump into chapter one. The title is Evil Plumbing. Earth Year 2441, Lunar Day 188, smack in the middle of the night. Let's get something straight right off the bat. Everything the movies have ever taught you about space is garbage. Giant spacecraft that are as comfortable as floating cruise ships, complete fantasy. Warp speed travel, Never going to happen. Beaming up, don't count on any of it. Life in outer space sucks. Trust me, I know. My name is Dashiell Gibson. I'm 12 years old and I live on the moon. On moon base alpha, to be exact. You know this, of course. Everyone on Earth knows this, unless you've been living in the Amazon rainforest for the last few years. And since there's barely anything left of the Amazon rainforest, I'm guessing that's unlikely. Moonbase Alpha, along with everyone who lives on it, has been the subject of an absolutely staggering amount of hype. The first human outpost in space? The first people to live on a celestial body besides Earth? A glorious first step in mankind's ultimate colonization of the galaxy? The government fed my family all that baloney as well, back when they recruited my parents, and I admit I completely fell for it. We all did. The recruiters made everything sound so amazing. Moonbase Alpha would have all of the comforts of Earth and more. We'd go down in history as one of the first families to live in space. We'd be the newest breed of pioneers pushing the limits of human achievement. Like I said, garbage. Living in Moonbase Alpha is like living in a giant tin can built by government contractors. It's as comfortable as an oil refinery. You can't go outside. The food is horrible, it's always cold, and the toilets might as well be medieval torture devices. Ever noticed in all of the science fiction movies and TV shows you've ever seen, Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, and all 142 versions of Star Trek, no one ever goes to the bathroom? That's not because in the future everyone has figured out how to metabolize their own feces. It's because going to the bathroom in space is a complete pain in the butt, literally. At least the moon base toilet is better than the one on the spaceship we took here. In zero gravity, you have to take extreme precautions to ensure whatever comes out of your body doesn't fly up into your face. There's an old saying in zero G space travel. If you ever see a piece of chocolate floating around the cabin, don't eat it. It's probably not chocolate. However, using the toilet on Moonbase Alpha is no picnic. If I'd known how exceptionally complicated and disgusting it would be, I never would have agreed to leave Earth. It was because of one of those evil toilets that I wound up involved in far more trouble and danger than I ever could have imagined. Okay, guys. So basically what goes on in the story is um, one of the scientists is murdered on the moon and Dashiell kind of 
takes it upon himself to figure out exactly what happened with this one scientist being murdered because they try to kind of play it off like he had an accident and didn't put his spacesuit on correctly and that's why he passed away. And Dashiell's like, there's no way. This scientist is brilliant. There's no way he wouldn't put his spacesuit on correctly and tries to get to the bottom of it. So it's science fiction because it's set in the future. It takes place on the moon. There's all kinds of science and experiments and all of that kind of stuff going on. Um, but it 100% is a mystery as well. So again, our book this week is Space Case. It is the first book in a trilogy called Moonbase Alpha, um, written by Stuart Gibbs. It is found in our science fiction section under GIB for Gibbs. I hope you enjoy. Happy reading. <laughs>